Okay. Opponent's choice this time, and he chooses to play. We're perfectly fine with this hand. This is about as good as our deck is ever going to do. And he does mulligan, so we're already looking good. And he mulligans again. So he's keeping the five and not coming out super strong. So, okay. Leg mirror, we are okay with that. I think we'll just go ahead and sack our germ straight off. Not give him a chance to ramp out. Yeah, I like the I like the way this is shaping up right now. I mean, we're one mana off of being able to cast everything in our deck. Um, and this thing is pretty nuts. I'm still happy about that first pick. <laughs> swing all day. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right. Um I at this point I just don't think he really knows what to make of us. We just killed him with uh, regular damage last turn. And uh I think maybe that's just freaking him out a little bit. Um Yeah, if he minus fours this guy, we'll take a couple infect and we'll be sad about it. But I think we'll just play this guy out and if he pulls the grasp, pulls the grasp and you know, it is what it is. Nope, he flashes his two two in, which is fine. Okay. You got a blight mamba. And I think we have something bigger for that. Uh, yeah, I think this may be a case where I just end up tangling, you know, clog the board with bigger infect dudes than him, and then getting in with a uh, tangle angler and make everything block it, <laughs> which is a very fun move. It's one where Blunt the Assault is actually kind of relevant as the only card out of the sideboard that could have possibly come in, but I really hate to admit when my deck's bad enough to play Blunt the Assault. Okay, uses the Grasp on that guy. Uh, sure. Um, you get a point off of that guy. Alright, so we can do some fun stuff here. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to... I kind of want to swing with the Mantis, and if he double blocks, great, kill off the Contagious Nim, um, and then second main I'm going to play Blight Widow and equip it with the Mortipod, because that is quite awesome to do so. Yeah. 
because this way we really can literally just block both of his dudes if he swings with the infect guys block them both and you know not take any poison and then somewhere down the road I can sacrifice my blight widow just at instant speed to minus one something which is pretty sweet um... Alright, so let's think here. If I go with the Horizon Spellbond, that'd be three, leaving me with four up. Um, so I could play. I could draw an extra card, get an extra land into play, and play out either the Angler or the Mamba. Yeah, that or I can just drop the Scourge Servant. I like playing and drawing a lot of cards. So I think I will probably go with that play. Now, because it's going to cost me four mana and then two, and then I'll have three. So my only play then is the Blight Mamba. And I won't be able to regenerate him, but I won't really care. So yeah, we're just going to do that. Yes, I would like to play pay a green and I'll draw a forest anyway. And I will go get a forest. Hello, skin render. I'll see you later. And forest. Um I mean I kinda think I just swing at the blight widow and That's fine. Cool. Alright. So, second main. I'm hoping that my, uh, just more card advantage -y cards will uh, kind of get over the top that I think he just has, you know, a higher infect count. Hey, speaking of, um, okay, can I cast both that and the Tangle Angler? I sure can. I can do that or and the Scourge Servant if I'd like. Alright, so let's get in there with the Blight Widow. So I don't really see a downside to that. Okay. And then, uh, you know, let's draw a whole bunch of cards. Seems fair, right? <laughs> wow. That's a that's a whiff. Okay, well so we're showing that guy. And then we're uh we're putting this on the bottom in uh this order, because it will matter. It's not like we're going to actually hit the uh, horizon spell pump before that. Wow. Okay, I kind of expected that to be better. <coughs> not gonna lie. Um, so, let's see, two, three, we'd only hit him for three, so we're just going to play out this guy. Yeah, I'm just seeing what the angler making everybody block is going to do for us, and at this point, not a ton, but with that guy included, it can do pretty good, it can be just uh, straight up lethal, sure. There's his card advantage card. But 
Yeah, aside from the uh, cards in hand, I think we're winning the rest of the metrics here. Um, so, I mean, if we swing with this guy, he's obviously going to just take that, doesn't really care. But everything else, he will take out. I think, uh, just tangle angle it up. And uh, before any shenanigans get going, we're going to put the mortar pod over there. So if anything's going to be coming down, it's going to be that they're <laughs> he's going to try and kill that guy. So Okay, Painsmith, pretty irrelevant. Um, I've got five forests. He takes five, six poison next turn. Um, maybe more. Uh, okay, yeah, he's just giving it up. Alright, well, somehow made it. I'll see you in the, uh, in the next match.